everyone and welcome to DIY Conspiracy. Well, I'm very excited to say that we finally have gotten our first question in the comment section and I'm going to be answering it. Hopefully any of you guys who watch me and don't really believe that I answer comments will see that Leah Ferrer asked a question about how to get apps for free on the Android and I'm responding to that question in the next week's video. Now, please use that comment section down below because I always read the comments since there are so few, but even when they do become a lot, I always read it. So, if you have any questions, I will read your question, and if it has enough thumbs up, or if it's a very common question, or if it's something that I also want to know, I will research it and get it to you for the next week's video. Like I said, as I display the comment here, Leah Forever asks, how to get apps for free? I'm assuming that Leah is talking about an Android since I was on an Android device. If you'd like to see iOS, I also know how to do that as well. So tell me in the comments below if you want to see how to get iOS apps for free and I will put that video out there for you. Alright, so this is pretty simple of a process and the app we're going to be using is called Aptoid. Aptoid is an APK which means that it's just like another regular app so you don't need to root your Android device. Rooting sometimes can compromise your phone's warranty and if you do it improperly can leave your phone as a vegetable, basically. The first thing you're going to want to do is find a browser. I'm just using my Google browser that comes with my phone. Nothing special. Bing, I guess, works too. Now we're going to search or type in a URL into that search bar. Okay, in the URL, you're going to want to type in Aptoid APK. Funny enough, I actually did make a video about how to get apps for free previously, but since it wasn't in my header, I guess I wasn't too clear about it. What you're going to want to do is, at the time, probably click on the first one. So it says, install Aptoid Android App Store. So it's m.aptoid.com slash installer. So let's click and see what appears. You're going to be brought to a very colorful page which sort of reminds me of Yahoo Aviate since you're just brought to a download page. It does not mention anything about having free apps since I think that wouldn't be a very wise decision on their part. You're going to tap install. Don't read the installation instructions because I'm going to be telling you how to do it. So click install now. Then you're going to get a pop-up at the bottom that says this type of file can harm your device. <clears throat> do you want to keep Aptoid 6.3.0 APK anyway? You're going to click yes. In my experience with using Aptoid APK there are no viruses but once we do get into the app I will be telling you some tips about APK Aptoid and some things that you might want to know. So just click OK for now and it will be downloading and you can see it at the top bar. Once you're at the top bar you'll see the Aptoid 6.3.0. APK is available. You're going to want to tap on that. Once you do so you'll be brought to a screen which sort of talks a bit about Aptoid. So it'll ask you if you want to gain access to things simply saying that it will sometimes need your location to make sure that you're using apps that are compatible with your country as well as device access with Wi-Fi installing shortcuts reading sync settings to update apps which you can do with an Aptoid whether you've downloaded the app through Aptoid or just have had it previously which makes it pretty easy if you want to switch to Aptoid as a primary app downloading in it 
we can see that there are some welcome to aptoids, but we can skip the introduction. You can choose to read over it, but just for management of time, I won't. Here's a home. It's very aptoid or app store-esque where it shows you some pretty cool themes or pretty cool games that may be top. So if you tap on top, you can see a whole bunch of things that people have been downloading throughout here. For example, a popular game that a lot of people like to download is Minecraft. If we tap on Minecraft, we can see that it simply gives us an install. And it's trusted, which means there are no antiviruses. You're always going to want to make sure that you see that trusted label, especially when you go to different stores. Let's say I was looking for something that wasn't on Aptoid's a median database, like iNodi. See how it says search other stores? If you tap on that, you can open it in Chrome or Internet. I'll just choose Chrome. Then once you go through iNodi, you can see two different results. You can either choose this one or this one. You'll want to choose the most recent one, which means that it's the most updated. So besides a year, you might want to choose a 10 month one. Here we can see that it says install and it has a shield with a question mark in it. There are three stages to Aptoid. One is the green check mark, which means it's safe. The other is the gray one. And then the third is a red one, which means you shouldn't. It also tells you if it is compatible with your device. When downloading something, you always want to make sure that you read if it's compatible and also keep note of these shields. Gray is pretty okay, but once you see red, I wouldn't go for it. If you're new at Aptoid, you might want to go for that green. So that's all I have to say for Aptoid. If you have a specific app that you can't really find, make sure to tell me in the comments below so I can find it. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye!